Namaskaram. Welcome back. Friends, before starting, let me remind you to subscribe my channel, Jagan Teaching Videos. Right. Formal English and Informal English. What is formal and what is informal? Formal English is usually seen in write-ups such as various kinds of journals, essay writing, novels, and newspaper reporting, etc. On the other hand, informal English and informal constructions are frequently seen in spoken language. In our day-to-day -day English, several interesting terminology and a new kind of vocabulary are uh, used to, to add beauty and especially stylishness to the language. And uh, here we are going to transact uh, <coughs> informal constructions. Here, some interesting vocabulary is framed and uh, let us uh, discuss them and uh, how they can be added in the sentences uh, can be dealt in this particular session. Let us take a look at here. What is this word? What? What means? What should? Uh, how can the sentence be constructed? Uh, previously, it can be used like this. I want to play cricket. Instead, you can add stylishness to the language. I want to play cricket. I want to go to bed. I want to have my breakfast now. In this manner, you can create sentences. Then the next word is here. Gonna. Gonna means going to. I'm going to play cricket. Instead, you can say like this. I'm going to play cricket. So, I'm going to watch a movie. Another word. Gotta. Gotta means got to. So, I got to the room. And if you add style, I got her room. Then, gotcha. Gotcha means got you. I got you there. Instead, you can construct sentence like this. I gotcha there. I gotcha there. Then, another one. Kuda. Kuda means could have. Raju could have completed this work. Raju could have completed this work. So, in this manner, you can use this particular word, kuda. Then, similarly, another word, wuda. I would have completed this work. Instead, I would have, com I would have completed this work. Then, shoulda. Shoulda means, should have. Raju should have passed this exam. Instead, Raju should have passed this exam. Raju should have passed this exam. Then, masha. Masha means, must have. She must have cooked food. She must have cooked food. Then, another word. Let me. Let me means let me. Let me tell you this may I tell. Let me tell you this may I tell. So, let me tell you the story. In this manner, the sentence can be constructed. Another word. Lecha. Lecha means let you. I let you know this may I tell. Instead, I let her know this matter. I let her. Then, lots of. Lots of means lot of. A lot of people gathered at the venue. Instead, a lot of people gathered at the venue. Then, in other words, sort of. Sort of means sort of. What sort of matter it is? Instead, what sort of matter it is? Then, another one. Kinda. Kinda means kind of. What kind of fruit it is? Instead, what kind of fruit it is? Then another one. Juna. Juna means don't know. I don't know about this topic. <coughs> then, <coughs> how can it be changed? I do know about this matter. Then another interesting word is here for you. Kappa. Kappa means cup off. It, it is usually be constructed in the phrase like this, a cup of coffee. For example, if you seek coffee from anybody else, I want a cup of. Then they simply fetch you a cup of coffee. I, I cup of, I want a, a cup of coffee. So, in this manner, that particular sentence can be constructed. Then, the next one, I am a. I am a means, I am a. I am a teacher. She is a student. I am a student, like this. Instead, you can construct sentences like this. I'm a teacher. I'm a student. I'm a player. Like this. And the last but not the least, ain't. Ain't means uh, yeah, uh, an interesting construction is here. B plus not. What are B forms? A, is, are, was, and what? And uh, one example is for you. She is not a student. 
She ain't a student. I am not coming to your home. I ain't coming to your home. There is another construction here. Have not. I have not gone there. I ain't gone there. In this manner, these words shall frequently be used in your spoken English language so that it simply add style and beauty to the language. You practice as many as sentences as you can so that uh, you will be getting lot of command over this uh, vocabulary. This is all about uh, this session. Let us uh, let me meet you in another class very soon. Thank you all.